Okay, so breaking news for Star Wars and Dave Filoni and the whole situation around Cara Dune and Gina Carano's absence going into Season 3 of The Mandalorian. So obviously the whole Gina Carano thing, her getting fired, I absolutely hate what happened. It's terrible what happened. And obviously it's a big politicized thing now because of uh, it was a whole cancel culture thing that they did to Gina Carano. And then obviously Lucasfilm ended up listening to them and ultimately got Gina fired. Now, honestly, before I even go into this, I do not think John Favreau... Dave Filoni or the, the other guy they talked to here, uh, I don't think they ever really wanted to get rid of her. I don't think they have anything against Gina. That's just my personal, like, feelings towards it. I just, I really don't think that they cared. But unfortunately, they are involved in a company that is just absolutely shitty. And they, they got rid of Gina, and that's just what they had to deal with because of what Disney and Lucasfilm is. And, you know, as as much as I love what John and Dave are doing for Star Wars and the, some of the stories they tell, um, it is just extremely unfortunate that they are just like kind of stuck in there. I don't know what their I don't know what their situation is. You know, every time we see them talking about Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy, it's always all positive and light. They're always going to be positive and light when they actually talking about it. I don't know what the whole behind the scenes are. We obviously will never really know that. But they never really spoke up about Gina Carano, and it is they, this this doesn't make it any better. Like it's two years later, and we're hearing about this now. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they never even touched on it. We did hear Giancarlo Esposito mention it um, earlier on. I think we had Bill Burr mention it as well uh Giancarlo Esposito like a person on the show with her mentioned that she was like his favorite person to talk with uh, and just act with on the show so I'm really glad that he came out and said that despite their political differences and Gina Carano's firing was just such a silent firing in a way it's ever since Lucasfilm released her stupid statement saying she's let go this everything's been silent everyone got all mad all the fans and fans of the mandalorian and cara dune got really really upset and gina carano and then it just kind of is what it is lucasfilm has purposely stayed silent it seems I, I, it's kind of what i expected and now going into season three that question is going to come up what are we going to do with gina carano's cara dune and that's my big issue going into season three like i'm not i, I don't know how to feel about it right now because I, I liked season two i like season one i like the show but God, what they did to Gina Carano was absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, Star Wars director Rick Famulia, I don't know how to say his last name, whatever. Uh, he's one of the directors on a few episodes in Season 3. I think he was in, I think I remember the name. I think he was in a few episodes in uh, 1 and 2 or something like that too. But he makes a comment and then we get some comments from Dave Filoni. And it's not that much really. It's kind of just kind of deterring and just kind of avoiding the question just kind of how it is but it is his first comments on the whole thing since uh it happened with gina carano's cara dune so this is what they had to say so speaking with deadline star wars director rick uh and executive producer dave filoni spoke for the first time about gina carano's firing from the mandalorian after playing the role of cara dune in the series first two seasons now i did watch season two a few days ago again just to kind of get myself like mentally ready for uh what we're about to watch with season three if it's even any good compared to season two uh, she was great, man. She was really great in those uh, few episodes in season two. And they were really setting something up with her. They were starting to go into her storyline a little more. And it just sucks what they're doing. It just sucks what happened. And let's just read this. Um, while Dune is still part of the world, off camera, whatever. It's a load of shit. It doesn't really matter anymore. This is what it is. Um, it's, it's so exhaust. I'm just I'm irritated by it. Yeah, I explained that the character came up often to discussions with show creator John Favreau and Filoni, making it clear that Din Djarin and Grogu are still the heart of the show. Well, obviously, I mean you got Grief Karga and all these different characters in the show too that are still pretty important to the show. But obviously, the heart of the show is the two big main characters. No, no duh. Uh, Kara was a big part and continues as a character to be part of the world, which I'm starting to get the assumption that she's just going to be sent off to do some mission or some load of crap like that, and we'll just never see her again. That's just how it is. I, you know, look, I, I hate what they did, and I, I, every situation here is just terrible because I would rather just see Gina Carano in there and that role, but unfortunately, this is the situation we're in. If we're going to go forward with this, I think the best case scenario is to literally just not ignore it. I, I keep thinking they're going to ignore it, but maybe just tell us quickly that she's off doing a mission for the New Republic or something like that, and it just kind of leave it at that. Don't kill her off. Don't recast her. I would hate that. I would absolutely hate that. 
just 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 say she's off doing something i think that's probably the best thing they can do and i'm saying that as the best thing they can do the whole situation is terrible i, I she should be there and it, ah it's just awful uh it had to be addressed john favreau it had to be addressed in the creative and john favreau took the time to think about that uh, it was something that was discussed as we knew it was going to have impact on the show but at the same time what has been the heart of the show is the new characters din and grogu uh so ultimately felt like a servicing of that in around mandalorians which i figured that's what they were going to do anyways she she could just be sent off that's what i assumed they were going to do um so it, i hate the whole situation guys um so here's dave filoni's comments uh, when asked if Dune is simply out of the universe bounty hunting, Filoni explained that there are so many characters to touch on, uh, but he called Dune a great character and someone who was vital to Din Djarin's beginnings. It's a big galaxy and with many characters in it, many characters are fighting for their screen time. We'll just have to see as the, re as the season unfolds what the adventures are, but it's a great character, someone who was vital to Din Djarin's beginnings, uh, and we'll see if he has evolved beyond that. Filoni moved further into Season 3 by touching on how Mandalorians will play a part in the story, noting that there are characters that take a lot more prominence when it comes to Mando and Grogu's story. Now, Season 3 is mainly dealing with Mandalorians and the Mandalorian Saga, the Mandalorian Tale. Uh, there's different characters that he's met since Bo-Katan, who take a lot more prominence, which makes sense where his arc is going, the story of him and Grogu specifically. Now, I I actually agree with that, where it, it makes sense that... They're going to explore more Mandalorian storylines, more Mandalorian characters, and characters like maybe Grief Karga and even Cara Dune would have just kind of um, not really been as involved in the story considering the story is getting bigger now and they, they easily can fit them in. And obviously we're seeing Grief Karga again. So if we're seeing Grief Karga again, I think it's kind of a ridiculous statement at the same time where you can't just suddenly have Cara Dune in there because, oh, we're seeing all these new characters now. So we're just going to ignore her. It makes sense, right? But we're seeing Grief Karga. He's literally in like a tease like scene that they released and everything like that. So I think it's kind of a stupid argument, but it makes sense. But it's a really dumb argument, if that makes any sense at, at all. So here's one more question that uh, Filoni got. Uh, when asked whether fans had called for Gina Carano to return, Filoni simply said, it's a great character. So he's saying it again and explain how many requests he gets for all types of characters. Okay, okay. Uh, in the story, while he didn't name Carano specifically, he explained that the hardest part of it is finding time and space for everyone out there in the narrative. I get requests all around the board for types of characters. Uh, I've been with Star Wars. It's coming up in 20 years. It's a great galaxy. The hardest thing is finding time and space for everyone out there. George Lucas used to talk about when he was making the prequels. Uh, he had so many great characters, and they all wanted to screen time. How do you do it when your job is to tell a story of Anakin Skywalker? I relate to that. That's a non-answer. It's a load of crap. I like Dave Filoni. I like the stuff he does, but that was a. That's, it's all dodging the question. It's all completely dodging the question. Now, I'm sure it's under the orders of Lucasfilm and the regime over there at uh, Lucasfilm with Kathleen Kennedy. Um, I'm not going to say that Dave Filoni and John Favreau are all like peachy and innocent with this. I think it's really, really crappy that they have not even like they they're they're too scared to say a single thing about Gina Carano. Um, even if it's something negative, like they just don't want to talk about it. And this person was asking them. Um, and I just I, I legitimately don't think that if they made a comment on Gina Carano, whether it was positive or negative, um, that they would be you know, removed from Lucasfilm and they're no longer going to be doing the Mandalorian and all these big projects that basically Lucasfilm is making most of their money on right now, which is like the Mandalorian stuff. They're not just going to dump them and get rid of them. I don't think they would uh, just by simply mentioning Gina Carano for a moment, just to address a question. I think it's really, really crappy that they have not addressed Gina Carano at all. And it just seems like they're trying to dodge it even more, but this is the first time they're kind of addressing it they're being asked directly about it it seems like they're being very sheltered by disney and lucasfilm obviously um super unfortunate but uh going into season three here i did mention in my last video that it's just my biggest issue going into season three like i i really like season two so i just rewatched it it's great stuff uh and gina carano was great in it but now we're gonna move forward here after this terrible thing lucasfilm did and under the cancel culture uh time that we're now in we have to move forward without Gina Carano. And you know what? I am actually very happy in in a sense that Gina Carano is no longer under this like 
ridiculous, ridiculous rules of Lucasfilm where you just legitimately cannot express any opinion that is off of the message of the leftist nonsense. I I'm really glad that she could just be herself and speak freely now and do whatever she wishes. Um, despite that being out of Star Wars, like I really love her character. I'm sure she misses playing the character, but at the same time, I think this is ultimately good for her in a way. Uh, I'm not going to speak too much on that. It just seems like she's a lot more free to speak and it's just it's been great to see that but um that's the one positive i can really draw from it but uh i i will continue to just despise what lucasfilm and disney have done to her and what they wanted her to do even before they got rid of her they wanted to have her sit down with a bunch of people and basically like criticize her for what an hour or something at some stupid meeting uh some zoom meeting like I, I, that whole story was ridiculous and um, Dave Filoni, John Favreau, love the stuff you guys are doing, but you guys are really, really just, it's kind of annoying. Just, it's really, really frustrating that you just legitimately will, uh, do everything you can to not address the situation. Um, even slightly, like you don't have to get into any details. You just, you just don't want to talk about it. It seems I'm looking forward to season three and see what we're going to see. Um, I hope this, I, you know, I have to hope that they at least address it. The best that they can i don't again as i said i don't think john and dave are wanting this to happen but at the same time i don't think they've addressed it that well and uh yeah i just wanted to bring this up thought it was interesting didn't even expect this to be coming out i just thought they were to completely ignore it like completely so this is a little fascinating to see but it's kind of a non-answer overall